the city fairs in the beginning. Hey, we're doing Katie Douglas today. Her arc in the first forward is pretty interesting. And she's wordy. <laughs> it's called Black Channel Protocols, which shouldn't be that big a surprise based on the last arc. <sighs> she's a little mixed up in the head, as you'll see. But not too much. She holds a big grudge, though. First things first, this is going to be pretty morbid. I won't speak for you, but I don't much like it. Each one of the possessed dust strangers in the FFZ had some kind of persona defense training, right? Right. And we both know that particularly strong individuals that are possessed retain a bit of their personalities even when they're serving as a host body to an apparition. So it stands to reason that any given possessed dust ranger retains at very least some idea of where he was at, what he was doing, what his orders had he had at the time were, etc, etc, just before he was all body snatched. If we collate enough of this data, we could make a good uh, estimation of where to go next. Following me? Good. Now here's the tricky bit. I need to scan the minds of a few dust rangers at the moment you separate their body host, uh, their host body from the apparition. You're gonna have to try and get your hands bloody because they're only one surefire cure for possession. You know what I'm asking. Yeah, just beat them senseless. Okay, okay, well. Uh, deal with your conscience in whatever way fits you best afterwards, but I'm going to have to scan a few before I can start building us a big picture. You up for this killer? Well, I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to derez him. Um, derezing means they get a metaport and everything, and you get your information. So, blah, blah, blah. I'll only go after the officers. It's doubtful that the grunts will know enough. Okay. Huh. I didn't think of that. Good idea. Get me into their minds and I, and I can try and get it over the next likely spe step. And yeah, I just said triangulate without blinking. So sue me. Won't happen again. Get moving. We'll hook back up when I've got us a location. Cool. I like helping her, but at the same time, oh, this is going to be... Why, why does everybody want me to de-rose people? It's not cool. I don't like doing it. Whoa, look at that. Oh. Oh. That's this. I forgot. Okay. Get back over here. Hi, guys. I like this because all I have to do is beat up the, um, the shell and the ghost won't attack me. Okay, I take that back. Why? Why why you do that? Look, it's only a hit. one hit. Okay. Maybe two. Yeah, okay. Suspicious Ranger. Oh, peculiar leader, here we go. Hi. Hi. I don't have to fight your friend. What? Why? Why? What? I didn't want to fight you. It's fine. I need one more leader. Yeah, so you can tell that's not who I'm after. Oh, by the way, I got some badges.
just try. Uh, I know where the fallback position is. So they got the fallback position. Let's go to that. This is not a very big arc. I am dividing it into two, though. Putting up a subliminal safety measure. Dust hasn't alerted, been alerted to your presence yet. Okay. VK, the fallback commander. Okay. In other words, I don't have a choice. the thing. I need to go over the edges, though. I might do that in the next one. Alright, let's go this way, Katie. Don't fight everybody, please. is I have to attack all these guys up front. Otherwise, Kitty will go aggro everything. I don't want Kitty aggroing everything. Oh boy. This could be... <coughs> Hold on. Let's do this the smart way. Come here, Jace. That way I don't have to... already. We've got company. Uh-huh. Nope. Getting income we must. care of. Oh, man. I think I get it now. Okay. Y you think you get it now. Great. I'm going to lure these idiots up top. Ah, fudge muffins. I don't want her fighting much because she doesn't have a lot of health. She's going to bring everybody to the table. All right, Katie, stop. All right, let's get over here.
speak to Officer Orb. I don't recognize you. State your name, rank, current cell. I will not yield to unknown accomplice of Seer 31381. She's an enemy of the state, as are you by associates. So why bother speaking to me, sir? What? Why are you bothering to speak to me, sir? It is what you meant to say. You will address me properly. That's not going to happen. Start talking. It's classified. Which part? Our client, Mr. Mouse. Trap. What are you doing here? All of it is classified. Even your failed mission. As far as I'm concerned, my mission is to shut down the SEER network. It's still in progress. By definition, that is not a failure. You failed to remember it was classified. You are correct. Therefore, I am promoting you to Corporal now, which means you will also get executed if, I, if it is ever found out. <laughs> I hastily gave up classified information. That makes us circular in a circular sense for my thought box, Corporal. Oh, God. If you say so. Now, what happened to the se at the Seer Network? Colonel Vargas, head of Dust Special Operations and First Report, found out that the Seer Network had been compromised and the Awaken had contaminated it for unknown reasons. Since I am naturally resistant to mind control, yes, you're a robot, I, I was promoted to command status of this cell with orders to shut down the Seer Network with rad red level threat contingency bypass codes. The Awakening and the apparitions in the facility were too strong. My cell withdrew to this fallback position to await further orders. Because of the black channel, no such orders will come. And, of course, my men have decided to ignore me, as you have seen. They'll be executed. We're still on mission, Officer Orb. <laughs> I'm not going to execute anybody. I have not forgotten that your association with Seer 1381 makes you a war criminal. <laughs> and I know she would be valuable in this mission. I am granting her a temporary stay of execution. You, Corporal, may be given a pardon, however, if we succeed. And we s will succeed. Right. We'll meet you at the Seared Network. Okay. We'll see you there, sir. Remember your station. That thing is just beyond weird. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, let's get out of here, Katie. Katie, we only have two missions left. So that'll be the next video. <laughs> oh. Alright. Well, I didn't see that one coming. I can't often say that, being a psychic at all. It looks like we're going to have to work with a machine who takes orders from a dust head honcho who takes orders from the asylum. And who's on loan from the idea? That's just great. And yeah, I guess I'm going to have to get over working with said ugh inducing officer orb since he has the network's bypass codes. Look, D Rezzer, I know I come across as a bit, uh, well, you know, a bit. But I can't have my sisters in the Seer network threatened like this. They're innocent and they need our help. So we're helping. You get me? This is going to be a long road for us, d -Rezzer, and I really don't want to be seen tagging along with you, not physically anyway. But if you need to reach me, just scream my name really loud in your head. Really, really loud. It'll be annoying enough that I'll probably answer. That's your version of the cell phone. <sighs> and we'll do that next time. I'll see you guys in the near future. Thank you for watching.